Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Eight rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. At ringside, the three judges scoring this bout will be Adelaide Bird, Tim Cheatham, and Robert Hoyle. And in the ring, the man laying the law when the bell sounds, referee Tony Weeks. And now, for the people here in attendance and Sam's Town Live, to the many more joining us around the world live on Mayweather Promotions Facebook. Let's leave the talk behind Las Vegas. It's time to shine. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the multicolored trunks. He weighed in officially at 141 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 11 victories, three defeats, seven of his victories coming by way of KO. Fighting out of North Carolina, presenting Mr. Marvelous Maynard Ellison. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the solid black. He went in officially at 141 and one half pounds. His professional record, 14 victories, no defeats. Eight of his victories coming by way of KO. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the undefeated Juan Herbaldez. Once again, referee Tony Weeks for instructions. Okay, gentlemen, you both received your instructions in your dressing room. Right here is good. Right here is good. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. Once again, this is the main event of the evening. Eight rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. All right, guys, we are back. Main event of the evening. Had to get out of the ring there real quick and get back to my booth. Again, Ramblin' Ralph, Librado Andrade. Main event of the evening, North Carolina, Las Vegas, Nevada. Maynard Allison, Juan Heraldez. Both of them look kind of sharp and, and ready to... Uh, Shouts out to Salvador Carrillo, boxing guru. You guys got to check out their podcast on Mondays. Big shout out. Thank you all for joining us. Again, Christy Farrell from Shots Out, Go Maynard, Marcus Tony. Thank you guys for joining us. Again, Samstown Live here, main event. We've had amazing action so far. Four fantastic fights. Just a recap. Dylan Bamber Cox making his professional de debut from London, England, trained by the Porters, Kenny and Sean. Uh, unexpected knockout by an Elliot Brown who uh, had a record of one and four. Great win for him. And then it was just domination after that. Andres Cortez Savage from Las Vegas, Nevada, early knockout. Rolando Roli Romero, if you missed it, a first round knockout. And then of course, Angelo Leo, who was undefeated at 13 and 0. Again, these Latin stars that Mayweather has a lot of people didn't really know about him. If they didn't, they know now Angelo Leo defeating a Porras uh, from Philippines, Glenn Porras, 31 and seven with 19 knockouts. So a fantastic card, a lot of action here. And of course the main event, Juan Heraldez. Yeah, everyone by knockout. Every bout has ended by a knockout. And you know, when a knockout comes out, everybody gets excited. Again, at the weigh-ins, when I talked to Maynard, all business, you know, he said this record could be a lot of hype, 14-0, uh, eight knockouts from Juan Heraldez. But I tell you, um, not just because he's a Mayweather fighter, but I've seen him since the inception of his career. All business, comes to fight, super serious, great training staff. Uh, Otis Pimpleton in his corner, and then, of course, the 
great cup man, uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., Bob Ware. Uh, just a great team overall. Yes. Uh, Heraldes has a very, uh, very sharp boxing style. As you can see, he's, he's very tactical what he does. And is it hard for, you know, I know you faced some, some slick, quick fighters uh, in your career. Is it hard for you to concentrate on, say, like trying to go to the body or trying to, to target a specific uh, body point when you have a fighter who moves around so much uh, like Allison does? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, that was the that was my weakness. Somebody that can move around the ring, you know. So for somebody that comes to fight, it's very difficult to get that fight started if they're running around the ring. But of course, we have uh, some kind of fighters that they know how to use the ring. Their the ring IQ is very uh, is very well all around. Again, a shot shots out to everybody who is joining us, Marcos Gomez. Thank you, bro. We're trying to. We're just trying to, to, to make it happen here, and we're doing whatever we can as a team to, to figure out exactly what we want to show you guys as far as the stream concerned, and we're, we'll go full-fledged again. Our second uh, attempt at this, we're, we're trying to see what works, what doesn't work, what works in the venue, and we're trying to open up to our fans and make this basically uh, an event for everybody to join. So we appreciate everything, and again, thank you for that. Uh, shout out to everybody that's joining. Give us a shout out to where you're from, what city you're from. We'll try to give you a shout out back. Again, this is the main event. If you're just joining us, a night of fantastic action here in Las Vegas, Samstown Hotel and Gambling Hall, which has become the mecca for Mayweather Promotions up and coming fighters. Again, uh, showcasing the Latino fighters that uh, Mayweather has assessed. All these guys, uh, fantastic power, and they, they all look here uh, to be uh, in line for some minor titles here in the future. Luke from Australia, thanks for joining us. Oh, Shots Juan just got caught with that job coming in. He's got to be careful, you know. When you have somebody that has speed, yeah, you, you have to be careful with, with the shots, too. You can't get careless. Again, Allison not really staying in front of Juan. And again, as you said earlier, just not, not the typical style that fighters can get used to. Nice right. combination by Allison in the right hand. Wow. Uh, looks like Allison is getting the best of one to, uh, in this round. Nice He's counter. To nice counter by Heraldes. Again, this venue, there isn't a seat farther than row 15 here. So even the, the, the people here that are sitting at the top row, they are pretty much eye level. Fantastic venue for boxing. We love it here, and we uh, shots out to Samstown Hotel and Gambling Hall for uh, being so gracious. Uh, yeah, this is a host. great venue. Everything's enclosed. Everything feels you your ringside. So. Nice movement by Heraldes to get out of the way of that. Allison, I don't want to say hyper, but he's he's uh, really moving around a lot, trying to confuse so him, he, and it worked. Left hook there by Allison. In this round, he's, he's standing his ground a little bit more. He's not moving around, which... We got a lot of people on our Facebook stream that are saying that uh, they're, they're picking Allison to win this fight. Yeah, that's an interesting an interesting pick because Gerard is uh, he's a very good technician. He can win rounds. Justin Harrow from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for joining Try the building. A wow, shot. that's a very good exchange. Heraldes answering back. Now Heraldes is the one moving forward. Yeah, when someone when someone swings wildly, you have to be careful because the shot that you don't see is the one that will knock you out. Heraldes, the jab, 10 seconds left in the second round. It looks to be a good fight. We've had early stoppages. It looks like this one might go a few rounds. It's Allison Heraldes here in Vegas. All right, we're two rounds in. Andrade, a, how do you have it? That was a pretty even round. Uh, I think it's 1-1. One, one. 
we take a look at our beautiful money team ring girls. I know last stream they wanted more ring girl action and we're bringing it to you with our handheld. We appreciate the cameramen and all the staff working hard. Last uh, card we had over six hours and our fine young cameramen here lasted the whole time. No breaks, no anything. So we appreciate our staff here and Mayweather Promotions. We appreciate it. In that last round, even though uh, maybe Allison got the best of one, but he was using a very good jab. Maybe if he if he continues to throw that jab and, uh, and throw that jab to the body, to the head, a little bit more variety by Juan, he can uh, neutralize Allison's power or whatever he wants to do. We're in round three here. A scheduled eight rounds of boxing, super lightweight division in Las Vegas. If you're barely joining us, the main event on our stream. A very good night of action so far. Again, shots out to Samstown Hotel and Gambling Hall here in Las Vegas for hosting us. A very good counter by Juan. Body jab by Heraldes. Yeah. That was a very good job. He changed it from the head to the body now. That's what you want to see from a fighter that can do any, everything very well, throw jabs. Allison everywhere. in with the, with the right, but countered by Heraldes, and that left hook looks to be landing on the counter. Oh, Again, a combination. Wow. Allison in trouble. This might be over. Down this goes Allison. This fight is over. Oh, wow. Tony Weeks calls it off. Great win by Juan. Oh, that. Well. A third round knockout by Heraldes. Allison extremely upset with Weeks. You know what? I think he wanted to play possum a little bit, and that cost him. Uh, he went down uh, a little bit playing the possum, and that might have cost him the fight. So Juan Heraldes moves to 15 and 09 knockouts. One minute, five seconds of round number three. If you guys give me a few seconds, I'm going to get in the ring, give the particulars, and we're going to hear from Mr. Heraldez. I'm going to interview him, and we're going to see what he has to say about becoming 15 and 0. Nine knockouts. We'll be right back, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, official time. One minute, five seconds of round number three. Referee Tony Weeks calls a halt to the bout. Your winner by way of TKO and still undefeated from Las Vegas, Nevada, Juan Heraldez.